Welcome back, you guys. Let's play Tales of Zelia, and we learned things. Yep, we learned that Riza Maxia is sort of, you could say, trapped in a little bubble behind the schism, and well, uh, it's protect from an it's kept outside from another world, simply known as Olympias. And well, and Alvin is from Olympias, and all of Exodus is actually from Olympias, and originally all they wanted to do was go home, but plans changed apparently, and. Now, they, not only do they want to go home, they want to bring a little fuel back with them. And by fuel, it means using all of the Reason Maxians inside Reason Maxia as a fuel source. Jesus. So, yeah. Anyway, though, while we kind of have this little thing going on as we talk to the Chimeriad and stuff, I'm going to explain something that I say bullshit on. When I heard, so when I watched people review Tales of Zillia, my apologies, I forget the name of this reviewer, they definitely had a beef with the game of not liking it for other reasons, and one reason was this whole two different worlds thing. They said it was pretty much like a blatant copy from Tales of Symphonia. Spoilers here now out for Tales of Symphonia if you haven't played it yet. Either skip ahead or just stop listening. And I'll put a little timestamp on it for when to skip if you don't want to. And if you don't really care. Feel free to listen in. If you agree with my opinion, cool. If you don't, that's cool too. I don't really care if you do or not. Anyway, though, as everyone knows, in Tales of Symphonia, there are two separate worlds, Silveron and Tetheala, and literally they are separated as they thought that Tetheala was a moon. In reality, it's not. It's a completely other world, a planet. And the only way to get there was via Riards and everything. Do you remember that? Yes, I do. You had to fly there. No. And their history was almost identical to a point. The Church of Martel, uh, the fact that the Journey of Regeneration, the fact that they had were kind of sharing mana. Everything was almost identical. That it was kind of create. It was kind of like a parallel world. And yeah, and the only real difference is uh, that Tethyala was maybe a few years ahead on the technological basis. And they were ruled by the king, a king in Maltokyo. I honestly cannot say if Sil what Silveron was ruled by. They never really explained it. I was gonna say I don't think they ever said that. They really ever explained who, who exactly rules over Silveron. I'm thinking it's mostly the Church of Martel. But in uh, Tathiala, did they do have a king? But again, it's mostly the Church that kind of rules every the Church of Martel that kind of looks over everything, and yeah. the Pope is the big figure. Now. Here's the diff- now here's the thing. So yes, almost identical. Reza Maxi and Olympias are two very different countries. I'm not referring to them as worlds, I'm referring to them as countries, because that's what they are. Again, this is but they, Is it in a different dimension, kinda? No, we won't be getting dimensions until Tales of Zillia 2, so wait on that. Oh boy. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a slight- Kind of spoiler ish for Tales of Zillia 2 here, so again, skip. Well, then again, you're still skipping this, but it's not too big of a spoiler. The thing is this if you wanted to go from Reza Maxia to Olympias and everything, you just need to take a boat and you can end up in a different sea haven. You don't need to fly, you don't need to do anything, you need to take a boat. Okay. So again, they're more like countries, not worlds, but they are literally, but they are separated via a bubble. Basically, um, here's Olympias, here's Rizomaxia, and here's the schism in between. Olympians cannot see Rizomaxia, and Rizomaxia cannot see Olympias, thus they never knew it existed. And technological-wise, and world-wise, and living-wise, and ruling-wise, completely different. Olympias is not ruled by kings, they have a prime minister. And while well, Rizomaxia is ruled by, well, King Gaius and King Noctigal, who is sadly dead, if you all remember that. Yeah. Oh, rest in peace, Noctigal. You were kind of a cool dude. You were, you could have been a cool dude. Could have been, but just weren't there yet. <laughs> weren't there yet. But yeah. So, again, I, so I say bullshit that it is a copy. They are very different concepts and very different worlds from each other. They, because Reason Max and Olympias, nothing alike. And, exp and also, nothing alike in the people, as we'll learn a little bit later. Okay, Te Tethyal so and Silverant, very similar. Almost to almost being identical. Well, again, spoiler, big spoiler alert here. Uh, the worlds were once combined and were separated by Mythos with the Eternal Sword. Yeah. But anyways, what's going on with this? Oh, this is pretty much, uh, 
Rowan and Wingull having a little fighting out. This was a battle. This was actually a battle that Rowan was part of. And they're pretty much saying, who can win this fight, Rashigal or Ajul? This was a fight that took place 20 years ago. You will have no choice but to retreat. <laughs> and this is what you call a victory? I am satisfied simply not to lose. I see. Thank you for Yeah, that. that's pretty much a battle that took we yeah, 20 years ago when a huge way. tsunami pretty much came through and pretty much wiped out both the Rashigal and uh, Ajul armies. It's because I failed in the past. Because, yeah. If only I had used this strategy back then. I think it's great you learned from your mistake. You're still growing. Even at your age. Indeed. And I still have a great deal more growing to do. I may even grow out of these clothes one day. Is he saying he's gonna get fat? No, Rowan don't get fat. Rowan don't get fat. Rowan's not gonna get fat. Are you really Mila's sister? But yeah. So sorry for that really, really long-winded explanation on that. It's okay. <sighs> they're just gonna miss a little. They're gonna miss a little bit of just random background if they decide to skip over it. Yeah, it's you guys didn't miss anything too important. Just Wingall and Rowan having it out with tactical genius. You can find you can find the scene somewhere else on YouTube. <laughs> if you really want to know. Or you could have just paid attention to the words rather than what we're <laughs> listening saying. to me. <laughs> listening to me, uh, give my little okay, explanation Sheesh. or opinion. In a way. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh yeah, Jude's indiscretion. I have you to thank for saving Jude. Not at all. Jude was quite a help to me, thanks to his direct tethering with me. I was able to recharge much of my lost mana. Jude. You direct tethered with her? Uh, yeah. Muse asked me to. Was that bad? <laughs> bad? It's, uh... Direct tethering is something a spirit and a human do when, uh... <sighs> Since we were together constantly, he was able to fill me with loads of mana. I... I had no idea you were that kind of man. Mila, wait! Why is she so angry? My... I can't believe you'd ask me to explain that to you. Do you just want to hear me say it? Is that what you're into? Someone oh, tell fuck. Me what is going on with these spirits? <sighs> yeah, <laughs> tethering. My, my neck is killing me. What is it? <laughs> um, to put it very simply, because they don't really explain it, tethering is a very intimate bond between a human and a spirit, since they are directly sharing mana with each other. So it's a very intimate bond. Ah, so Mila was mad because she was she was just being jelly <laughs> that uh, Jude was tethering with uh, Yuse, her sister. Yeah, so she's like, uh, uh. so it's like Jude, you slut, you'll tether with anyone, won't you? Maybe she was trying to apologize, saying we got off on the wrong foot. Oh dear. I'm going to talk so yeah, to that's what tethering is. Not that big of a spoiler or anything, but I just thought I'd explain it if you. So you're not confused on why everyone's just so, uh, so jelly. Anyway, though. We just want to go... See Let's this. stock up. <laughs> yes, let us indeed stock up. Which I don't think we really need to. Anyway, uh... We still have all our life bottles. Because none uh, of us died during the Dr. Dragon's Buy more apple fight. gels, I guess. Some more orange gels. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay. Okay, I think that's good. When you're ready, head back uh, inside this temple and just take and just go up the stairs, and we're going to go to bed first. I'm sorry for getting you tangled up in this war. Not at all. I welcome the opportunity. As a spirit, I can never forgive those who use Spyrex. It is good to have your strength on our side. You have my gratitude. Your gratitude? As a big sister, what choice do I have but to keep my little sister out of trouble? A bit condescending, aren't we? <laughs> ah, isn't it wonderful to have a family? Is that what we are? It would seem so. Oh dear lord, lots of scenes. Yep. Has gotten stronger. Especially you. 
You've really improved. I appreciate the increased strength, but I worry I'm bulking up too much. Never took you for one to care. Of course. The Lord of Spirits needs a suitable vessel. Better to be toned than to be out of shape. Totally! Strength is beauty! I think it's a good look! Buff Mila is the best Mila! <laughs> <laughs> well, if everyone thinks so, maybe I will try to tone up a bit more. Do it, Mila! Yoke out bazongas! Okay, yoke out bazongas! I'm not sure you'd want that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, his nice big titties. <laughs> Okay, so upstairs. There. Stairs are over. Are oh. that way. It's, yes, Buff Mila is best Mila. Oh. Rest here. Yes. Free resting is nice resting. Free resting is best resting. Despite none of us change out of our clothes or take our shoes off when we sleep. Seriously. Oh, then you your hair's clipping. <laughs> Sorry to wake you, kid. You didn't. I can't sleep. So what happened with you today? What's with this sudden interrogation? You just have me worried, is all. Do you still want to go back home to Olympias? <sighs> Worry about your own problems, kid. Hmm? You Harsh. want to protect Mila, right? No, she can protect herself. I just want to make sure she wins. I think that's the kind of help she needs most. Huh. So you want to stay with her forever then? What? Al... What are you talking about? You won't have any reason to stay with her once this is all over, you know. I know. If you don't tell her how you really feel, someone else will beat you to the punch. You can't just count on destiny to work everything out for you. Fate doesn't have your back. Yeah, I know. I just... Maybe I need more time. You really do listen to everything I say, don't you? Huh? Nighty night, kid. Alvin, what the hell? Ah, <laughs> uh, super mood swings. Olympias is a bit of a touchy subject. Is it really? Yeah can't really say why either. Mm, I should have asked my I should have asked my friend if it really is one, but well, when we kind of learn a little bit more about it, uh, you'll kind of see why of would it really be for why? I can't sleep. I feel like I cannot find my way downstairs. Mila. I I can't sleep. Can't find way downstairs. Can't sleep. No. Me neither. You don't want to ask me anything about what I revealed earlier today? No, no. You did the right thing. The just thing. At least I hope so. Justice you want to sleep down here? Mm. Together? It means different things. Forever? Different cuddles? <laughs> cuddles? And what is Extra cuddles? To you? Hey guys, you want to get on the cuddles? Threesome? <laughs> cuddles? <laughs> Answer me, Maxwell. It is the power of will that resides within one's heart. <laughs> in this, we are both in agreement. Those with this willpower bear a responsibility to this world. The strong must protect and guide the weak. Gaius, weakness isn't an affliction of the body, but of the heart. The world will always have weak-willed people, but that in itself isn't a bad thing. Then we must protect the weak until they can become strong. That is our duty. We? Yes. All who are strong must look after the weak. It is the only way to ensure that future generations will have sufficient strength as well. So that's your solution to the problem I posed in Fezabel Marsh. As I told you then, I can chart a new future for mankind, if I just have enough power. But if a man like Gillen takes the stage, a man who can only use power for his own gain, then 
mankind will be doomed to repeat the same mistakes. I see. But I'm afraid it's not up to me to approve your answer. Your concept of justice is your own. It's not my place to interfere. <laughs> As you say. The two of you sure are alike. How so? No matter how extreme her words are, I think there's always truth to them. I get the same sense from you. Do you want to be like Maxwell? I wouldn't mind it, although I know that's impossible. <laughs> I see. That face, though. <laughs> Yay! Mutual respect! <laughs> We Amen to that. Yes, the showdown's tomorrow. Happy sleeping music. Yep. Now our event list is updated, and we've all and we're all healed up. Yay! Well, we're gonna save first. Time to end the episode here, cause so much has happened. Yep. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more. I do videos like this every other day. Talk to you guys later. All right. Bye-bye.